Welcome back to Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen. My name's Amanda. Today we are going to make some unicorn hot chocolate. Perfect to make for the kids this winter. It is starting to get cold out. So I'm just going to go over the ingredients you're going to need to make this. There's not a lot of ingredients, which is great. Um, basically, you can dress it up as fun as you want. So what you're going to need is two cups of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of sugar, four ounces of white chocolate, some pink food coloring, some whipped cream, some pastel sprinkles, which you can get at bulk barn or any bulk barn or any grocery store, some colored mini marshmallows, and some blue, pink, or purple icing, whatever you want to do here. So we have some of this already pre-started here. We have the milk heated up, we have the chocolate, the vanilla, and the sugar, and some food coloring in here. You only need a few drops, and I would be cautious. Um, and I would put in less to start and you can always make it darker as you go. So that's like a nice pink color. So for this, you're going to want some clear cups just because it's more fun. You can see what's going on inside the cup. And I'm going to take some blue decorative icing. You get this just at the grocery store. The great thing about this is it's already mixed up and it's super easy just to smear on the outside of the glass. So you're going to want to get it all around the rim of your cup and you don't even need to put a tip on this which is kind of nice a lot of times you would need to put on um, an icing tip but for this you're not going to need to you just put it on like this maybe get a little bit around the top of the rim as well doesn't have to be neat and tidy because you're going to dip it in the sprinkles so we just got these sprinkles at the bark bulk barn i don't know why i can't say that today and you're just gonna put that in there and dip it all the way around. Get as much on there as you like. Get a few extras around the back. Probably be a little bit messy, just so you know. Some of it might fall off. So then you got a nice rim um, around the top of fun sprinkles. These are just shaped like stars, which we got at the bulk barn, as I said before. Now you can take, I have some sparkly gel, which you can get at the bulk barn or uh, the grocery store and just put some decorative kind of sparkly sprinkles inside of your cup. Make it look a little more fun. And then you're gonna try to be really careful. This is the part that I'm not good at. That's why I have a ladle. And we're gonna put the actual hot chocolate mixture into the cup. And if you can, do your best not to get the icing because if you get the icing, it's going to melt uh, down the side of your cup. And what's going to happen is all your sprinkles are going to go everywhere, which isn't fun. So you want to fill this up, not completely to the top because it's going to melt your icing, but you want to go fairly close to the top. I would say about half an inch away from the top, like so. And then I'm just gonna take, I got Cool Whip, but you can make your own whipped cream or you can buy real whipped cream, whatever you want. Put a generous amount of whipped cream in there, fill it up to the top. And then we have these really cute, fun colored mini marshmallows. If you wanted to be super fun, you could get the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms box. Um, that would be really cute as well. So you're just gonna put those on top, make a little mountain out of those. And then I'm going to take some more of that blue sparkly gel that we had. And I'm just going to add some sparkly fun to the top of this. This comes in every color, so does the icing. So you can make it fun. And if you didn't want to do unicorn, you could do blue and yellow and do minions or whatever you want. And then you're just going to take some of the sparkles and you're going to put more of them on top, little sprinkles. And just for fun, I remember having these when I was a kid, these little sugar sticks. Bought one of these to put in the side like this. So that's all you need. It's super easy, but super cute. Next time you have a day off with the kids, take some time and make some hot chocolate. If you have some ideas for our next show, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about how to make this recipe, leave those in the comments as well. See you next week on Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen. Thanks for joining us.